step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. You have the worst luck running into me. Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's go. Let's make it quick. Take this! Combat is a series of precise machinations. One at a time! So this is... defeat. Have the worst luck running into me. <sighs> you won't get away. You're annoying. You can't run. I have something for you. Clemency? Never heard of it. My turn. Stay right there while I give you a present! You can't run! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! done it without me. Oh uh, yeah, it's the platform. The express isn't here. It has to be nearby. Let me go take a peek with my sharp eyes. Wait, march! Huh? Huh? The Doomsday Beast. It's really here. Get down here! Uh, careful, everyone! Still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Get, get. 
With me out here, how can we lose? Let's make it quick. Take this! Someone, come on. You won't get away! to me. Watch this! Let's go. Time for a detailed overhaul. Truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Precise machinations. One at a time! Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Clemency? Never heard of it. Revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. You've got a lot of 
nerve. Stay beast. It's really here. Get down here. Uh, careful, everyone. Truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Let's go. to me. Let's make it quick. Combat is a series of precise machinations.
My turn. Stay right there while I give you a present. are made to be broken. You don't say you're welcome! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Let's make it quick. Let's go. Rules are made to be broken. Talk somewhere else. <sighs> Is this the space station? Hi. It's good that you've made it through in one piece. You can rest easy now that the threat from the Legion has been neutralized. Well, this invasion seems to be nothing more than a random provocation. As soon as the Doomsday Beast fell, the Legion retreated. I guess I'll leave you to rest up a bit for the time being. 
By the way, um, what's your beacon address? That way, if anything happens, I can contact you. Go see Himiko when you have the time. She said she had something to discuss with you. Choice isn't as elusive as it may appear. Marge and Dan Hung stay by the Express to keep an eye on things. It's almost time. She should be arriving any moment now. <sighs> I've only been gone, what, a few months? And the space station is already in this state? Welcome back, Herda. This is the true master of the space station. Genius Society number 83, Herda. At least give me a proper introduction. Genius Society number 83? Of all my outstanding achievements, that's what you want to mention? Uh, yeah, up to speed yet? That place you all turned upside down? That's my property. So, this little twerp has the Stellaron now? Huh. Hmm, I'll have to take a good look. Hmm, truly amazing! I built a whole space station just to contain this unactivated Stellaron and keep the blue from disaster. Yet someone was able to achieve that with this little twerp's body? How did they do it? Moreover, the Stellaron is still very stable in her body. <gasps> You're right! This little one's body truly is strange. All right, I got it. But I'm still gonna call you Little Twerp. The space in my brain is too valuable to store people's names. Oh, well, thanks for remembering my name then. That's different. We have business with each other. Um, what was your name again? Uh, uh, forget it. Uh, let's focus on the one who can store a Stellaron in their body. Can I bring her in for some research? That's not up to me to decide. You can ask her yourself. Hmm. This little twerp's pretty financially motivated. Oh, I like it. All right, give the poor child a break, Herda. I'm very interested now. So there's almost nothing I won't accommodate. A Stellaron in your body? How interesting is that? Be grateful that I'm offering to help you out. This is a service even the IPC can't buy. You understand now? Herda wants you to stay in her space station. Well, I'm going to have to modify your wording here. This little twerp can only stay temporarily until the research is done. Or maybe I'll lose interest halfway through and they can just beat it. And after that? <laughs> Not my problem. <sighs> you also have another option. The Astral Express. If you want, you can leave with us. The Express has its fair share of experiences with Stellarons. The thing you're worried about and the answers we're looking for are one and the same. Besides, we can come back any time to let her to conduct her research. She's absolutely fascinated now. Hmm. Well, works for me. Keeps this subject fresh, too. And that way, I won't need to keep... Give it some good thought. 
Just remember to come back often. Make an appointment in advance with Asta or Arlen so I can make time to study you. There's no need to rush into this, Herda. Asta's in the master control zone. Let's let her have a talk with Asta first and decide for herself. I'll be waiting for you on the platform. It's no hurry if you still have things to do or someone to see. Come find me when you've made your decision. And a lifeline. Time to return. What you're seeing is one of my remote-controlled puppets. They're all over the station. I just connect to one wherever I am needed. Enough chit-chat. I am working on a big project with a few colleagues. If we succeed, it will answer the ultimate question that's been puzzling us for thousands of Amber Eras. The truth about eons. Eons. Think about it. What mystical existences. Some eons used to be ordinary humans like you and me. But somehow they managed to obtain power beyond our imagination. They are mysterious, powerful, silent, and terrifying. It's hard to explain all the mysteries surrounding them. How were they created? Why were they created? What were they created for? Have you ever thought about these questions? Well, indeed, it's got nothing to do with you, but we need you. Give me some time. I'll make this worthwhile for you, too. The four geniuses of the society wrote a program together. You see the big machine in the office? That machine contains a universe. Just like the universe we live in, but it's more streamlined and customized. I call it the metaverse. Oh, really? That's what my partner said as well. Fine, I am a team player. Then let's call it the simulated universe. Now go and experience it for yourself. I will guide you in the simulated universe to make sure nothing happens to you. I'll even give you a substantial reward. 